on today's episode of Dapper Daniel. Today we are gonna be talking trains, bullet train from Dallas to Houston, Houston to Dallas, running along Interstate 45. It's gonna have three main stops along the way. I'm sure there's not gonna be a lot of stops because it's really just trying to get people from Dallas into Houston. I'll throw up a map over what they're showing right now for the route that they're gonna be taking. The total cost of it is gonna be, right now they're saying 15 billion to 16 billion dollars. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy y'all, what is going on today? We are gonna be talking trains. Uh, there's some new report, actually it's not really a new thing. I mean, they were talking about this in 2016 and now they're bringing it back up. But the bullet train from Dallas to Houston, Houston to Dallas, running along Interstate 45. Uh, there's now some more talk starting to come up. So I'm gonna be going over that. Maybe some of you guys that are living in Dallas have seen these kind of news articles or you know news segments on uh, just the local news going on. But this is really for anyone that's maybe relocating into the area, thinking about Dallas, just trying to learn more about what's to come into this area over the next decade, five years, four years. They do have this. Dallas to Houston train projected to be 2026 to 2027. However, I do think there is still time for um, it to be axed down again. Like I said, they've been trying to do this. Texas Central Partners is actually the one that's trying to get this going and they're now trying to partner with Amtrak, but they've been talking about this since 2013. Uh, 2016 is really when they started to try to get things moving. However, they were starting to get more pushback uh, in 2021 and there's probably all types of reasons with landowners and politicians and things like that but I'll go over it into some details about this just some little fun facts and then also talk about the dart train at the end of this video because like I said we're talking trains today over here around Dallas and then also I'll just be driving around Dallas right now we're off of St. Paul and Young uh, currently over by the Dallas Convention Center. I figure I'd talk about this and then also give you guys a little driving tour around the area and just let you guys see what uh, is going around Dallas today on a Monday at 12 o'clock. Uh, but down here, if we go right, this would actually take us down into like, uh, the actually going straight would take us down into like the uh, Deep Elm area. Um, but like I said, we're just gonna kind of drive around here and talk about the uh, Dallas to Houston bullet train that might be coming. So, first of all, this route right now, it's gonna span about uh, what they have proposed is gonna be two, about 240 miles. It's gonna be traveling about 250 miles per hour, resulting in about a 90 minute travel time from the cities. And like I said at the beginning, Texas Central Partners was trying to get this going back in 2013. And then in 2021, they actually had a contract with a uh, I guess one of the builders that over in Italy that actually creates some of these bullet trains was actually, um, they actually had some contract going for like $16 billion, but that all got thrown away uh, when politicians and other landowners started uh, raising some eyebrows towards it and not wanting it to be done because you can imagine all the people that own land along Interstate 45, because there's a lot of rural areas uh, so I'm sure it's a lot more like big time landowners owning that stuff, not wanting. There also could be another reason and I'll get to that in a second. And so for the amount of stops uh, that this train is gonna have, it's gonna have three main stops along the way. I'm sure there's not gonna be a lot of stops because it's really just trying to get people from Dallas into Houston, but there is gonna be uh, essentially three stops including Dallas, Dallas and Houston. So you're gonna have Dallas, which is gonna be the start, or I guess Houston could be the start depending on whatever city you're in. But let's just say Dallas is the start. That's gonna be over in the Cedars neighborhood, which is actually on the south side of downtown Dallas. And that's the area where a lot of redevelopment's going on within the Cedar neighborhood and some of these other areas over by the convention center too. But the convention area was where we started. If I actually would have turned left in, instead of turning right out of that parking lot, uh, that takes you across Interstate 30 and then that takes you over into the Cedars. And that's where they're planning on building the facility facility uh, for the bullet train to start from. So it's gonna start from there and then it's gonna run along Interstate 45 and I'll throw up a map over what they're showing right now for the route that they're gonna be taking. And then they're gonna have a stop in the Brazos Valley. So that's gonna be in between Huntsville and College Station. Uh, so I'm guessing people that might be like, you know, 
could commute potentially down into Texas A&M or going over into that area because Texas A&M is right over there in College Station. Uh, so they're gonna have that. And then it's gonna finish down in Houston. And where it's gonna be located is at the Northwest Mall near Inter Interchange US 290 and Interstate 610. On the, north, on the northwest side of Houston. Uh, but like I said, you can kind of see that map. And then also on their website, Texas Central Partners, uh, they have that uh, going on right now on their website showing like kind of displaying what's gonna be happening with it. I haven't like, from the news reports I've seen, it looks like they're really like trying to do it, but I just, I don't know yet. I still feel like there's plenty of time uh, for it to get knocked down. For right now, the economic and environmental impacts that this is gonna have is that it's forecasting right now that it's gonna save 100,000 tons per year of greenhouse emissions, because uh, there is a lot of people that travel back from Houston and Dallas. This isn't really gonna stop by Austin. Uh, I think it's gonna kinda just go through those areas. So this is, like I said, more for the people trying to get out to uh, the coastline. And then it's gonna save 65 million gallons of fuel, removing 12,000 cars per day from Interstate 45. Now this is why I think it got shut down by politicians, because you know, we're Texas, this is oil money. The politicians are ran by oil money. So do you think the oil people like the fact that it's gonna be taking out 65 million gallons of fuel per year? I don't think they're, I don't think that's, you know, I don't think that's on the agenda. So that's why I think there was a little bit more pushback from the politicians. Now the politicians could say like, it's going through land, it's going through this or whatever, but really, I really think it's because of the amount of oil that would be getting saved because less cars would be on the road on Interstate 45 and having to use gas stations along the way too. So that's just my hot take on that. Um, and then for the economic impact on here, the total cost of it, is gonna be, right now they're saying 15 billion to 16 billion dollars. And then it's gonna create about 10,000 construction jobs and then 1,500 permanent jobs. And then it will generate about 36 billion in statewide income. I'm guessing that's from just people being able to kind of travel back and forth and businesses being able to create more opportunities. I think that's where they're pulling that number from. I don't think it's, that number is not being pulled from like, hey, I'm gonna buy a ticket and they're gonna generate $36 billion in people buying tickets. I think it's essentially like, hey, people are now able to travel back and forth from these areas and businesses might be able to kind of expand a lot easier uh, for a lot cheaper now or hire like people from kind of across the state. And then they said it's gonna generate about $3.6 billion in sales tax for that. So I think that's more of like people buying the tickets and traveling down. They said it's gonna be fair pricing. So I'm interested in what that's kind of is. It, has anyone taken the train, the, I don't even know if there's a, there's gotta be a train system down to Houston, but it's gotta be like five hours long. I don't even know how long that would be. Is there anyone out there? Have you guys taken the train system down to Houston? I think there is right now where you could, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really look in, into details on that, but that's kind of what I pulled from the information right now. There was the DART train that just passed us. So we'll talk about that here in a second, but uh, there's like three different DART trains, I would say, or three different routes. There's a good amount of DART trains and DART stops around Dallas. It kind of disperses. There's one that goes up 75 highway and then one that goes up 35 highway. There is not a DART system that actually goes uh, up through Frisco, but um, that is what I've pulled right now uh, from the details on uh, what the uh, bullet train is gonna be coming from Texas Central Partners. Now, Texas Central Partners and Amtrak are gonna be partnering together. Amtrak is gonna be the one that kind of handles more of the uh, operations of it, meaning like the ticketing, the experience. And then I think Texas Central Partners is still trying to partner up with some building groups and things like that for potentially being able to uh, build out this project. But like I said, it, I don't think it's like 100% set in stone that this is going to be happening, but I think they're as close as they ever been. Okay, what are we doing, Van? Uh, close as what, as what they've ever been to being able to potentially do this project. So we'll see. Maybe this will be something that comes in 2027. Uh, and then if you're living in Dallas and you want to be able to work in Houston, that could, you know, only a 90 minute trip or you want to go enjoy Corpus Christi. Uh, but this is going over now Interstate 30. So they're thinking over in this south section is where 
uh, they're gonna be doing the rest of this. And then uh, the other thing I wanna talk about was the Dart Train. So this Dart Train is gonna be called the Silver Line. And then the pricing that they had on this with the expenses and how much it was gonna cost to, to build this in. Essentially, it's going from Plano into DFW Airport. They said it's gonna cost 1.89 billion dollars which it's gonna be 26 miles long so something's the math isn't mathing right now for me okay because they're building a bullet train that's gonna be 240 miles and that's gonna be 16 billion dollars but yet the 26 mile dart train is gonna cost two billion dollars so that doesn't Real, the math isn't really mathing for me on that one. Because how how is 26 miles $2 billion, but 240 miles? I mean, it should, it seems like the bullet train should cost way more. Or, or the dart train should cost way less. So that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. But um, they do have some planned stops along the way for the dart train. They're going to have about four planned stops along there from Plano over into the DFW airport. If you guys have been around the area and you drive down George Bush or you go over 75 Highway or maybe over off Preston, uh, it's gonna be running along Keller Springs. Um, so, you know, this could be good for anyone that's living over in the Plano section or through those areas um, that, you know, wants to hop on the train and not have to uh, drive, down, drive on a car, uh, especially with how expensive it is to park at the airport now. Um, the planned stops that they have is Cypress Waters in Irving, downtown Carrollton, Addison Transit Center, and then City Line Richardson. Uh, those are the stops that are gonna be along the way. But that's the quick little update right now. I thought I'd just hop in the car, drive around, talk about that, because it's kind of been popping up on my Facebook right now, so I'm sure other people have kind of been seeing it. I don't know if you guys have actually read some articles, but I'll also link down below the website for Texas Central and what they have right now, but yeah. Plan on 2027, they say 2026, but let's just say 2027, we could have a bullet train coming from Dallas to Houston. And if they do that, I might start expanding my business down into the Houston area. I don't know, we shall see. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed throughout this whole video, if you are on a home search, I am a realtor. I know that this was different than all my other videos that I make, but I like keeping my people up. I like keeping my people updated with things because people kind of like these new development videos or what's to come down around Dallas. So um, that's the current thing I'm seeing right now on the news reports is this train. Also leave me a comment, any other places you guys want me to tour, any other news updates that you're seeing right now. I'm gonna end the video here in this parking lot. Also, I have my contact information if you do want to work with me uh, in buying or selling a home or investing over here in the Dallas area. I'm more in the North Dallas area, but I do still do some things around this downtown Dallas area as well. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, Bye.